Hey guys, so this is Tara here, and I wanted to share with you an amazing recipe that we've tweaked a little bit based on my dad's amazing tacos. Now, my dad makes the best tacos, and it's kind of funny because as a kid, um, well, let's just put it this way. One time he made me tuna noodle casserole, and he ran out of noodles, so he used Top Ramen with the seasonings. So we always tease him about that. He hasn't heard the end of it. But he makes the best tacos, and I've learned the secret to his taco meat, so my husband and I have taken it and tweaked it to make it fit our healthy lifestyle. Otherwise, I only get it like once every two years when my dad and I get together and we've been able to make them. So I'm very excited to share with you what we got. So here's the secret to his amazing stuff. Let me tell you what the recipe normally is like. If you've ever had those Jim Boys tacos, right? The tortillas are fried and then they're coated in that like canned Parmesan cheese and the meat is, it's like ground beef in there and everything, right? It's delicious. But we want to have something like that a lot. So here's what we did. I took his taco meat and he makes the best taco meat and it's so crazy simple what I found out on how he does it. You, t you take your meat and we use ground turkey in our house. So ground turkey and then a can of tomato sauce. Now I recommend finding one that's low sugar, doesn't have a lot of cred added to it. Add that instead of the water when you add your taco seasonings. You do taco seasonings, tomato sauce. If you need to thicken it up, you can use a little bit of tomato paste. If you need to thin it out, you can either use more sauce or a little bit more water or something. But doing the tomato sauce instead of the, the water is ridiculous. Okay, so let me show you what I do. So first off, you get a pan going. Um, over on this side, and you take a tortilla. Now this is where we're making his kind of healthier. Just throw in a tortilla in, I'm gonna throw two in, and you're gonna heat it up for about 10 to 15 seconds on both sides, okay? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it with a little bit of the amazing taco meat, a little bit, a little sprinkle of some cheddar cheese, fold it in half, and then pop it in here. Just kind of lay the different tacos in this pan and put it in the oven. That way the first one you do doesn't get cold, and then that way, it actually gets the cheese all melted and delicious and forms the taco shell a little bit better so that it's easier to eat. Now, my family is probably going to break out that canned Parmesan cheese. I never miss it, so I could go without it. And I think as a kid, I didn't have my dad put it on very much. Um, but you can also grate Parmesan cheese that's a little bit better for you, but you can leave it out. So let me tell you, if you are doing the fixed containers, let me tell you what it comes out to. It, two tacos comes out to a red, half of a green because of the tomato sauce that you're using, um, a yellow, two tortillas equals a yellow, and then the blue because of the cheese. All right, and that's that. So that meal comes up to that, and I recommend maybe have a salad on the side so that you have an extra green in there, get your vegetables in, but oh my gosh, it's so good. You have to try it out, and you'll have to tell me what you think so I can pass it on to my dad. 